Hello, this is Jay, and here's a weekly briefing from Pango Techno Valley. First, here are the main news. Starkium leads construction digitalization with B2B interior material platform Zazero. Starkium is transforming the construction industry's traditional processes with its digital B2B material ordering platform Zazero. Designed to address inefficiencies in small-scale construction firms, Zazero streamlines procurement with error reduction, project delay prevention, digital payments, and waste management. Targeting over 36,000 small contractors in Korea, Starkium is also exploring the B2C market and global expansion, leveraging Pangyo's dynamic startup ecosystem. Next, Cosmos Medic releases School Saver, a practical guide to first aid created by an emergency medicine specialist for school nurses. Cosmos Medic released School Saver, a first aid guidebook tailored for school nurses on November 1st. This two volume guide, principle and algorithm was developed over two years in collaboration with school nurses to enhance pre-hospital emergency responses in schools. School Saver aims to empower nurses with fundamental knowledge and real case problem solving guidelines, contributing to safer school environments. Following this, GopherSoft launches open beta for Sela Gypsa service, focused on commercialization and global expansion. GopherSoft, a startup specializing in cross-border e-commerce automation, has launched the open beta of its platform, Seller Gypsa, designed to simplify e-commerce operations through AI and API integration. Based in the Pango startup zone and backed by recent seed funding and selection for the TIPS program, the company is positioning itself as a potential unicorn in the tech industry. CEO Yoon Suk Kim emphasizes their commitment to enhancing CBEC seller efficiency globally with Seller Gypsa. And now, here are the headlines. Naver Cloud hosts NWEC24 EduTech Conference unveils Whale UBT, all-in-one service for optimized public education assessment. Naver Cloud held its third Naver Whale Education Conference, unveiling Whale's latest EduTech solutions focused on assessments, including the new Whale UBT platform and Whale OS Flex for broader accessibility. The event highlighted Whale's advancements in digital education, with plans for the Whale UBT and ongoing collaboration with educational partners to enhance assessment tools and learning processes. Next. Kakoa Enterprise hosts Genomic Analysis Workshop at Korea Society for Bioinformatics Annual Conference. Kakoa Enterprise hosted a Genomics Big Data Analysis Workshop at BioInfo 2024, showcasing the use of Kakoa Cloud for efficient genomic data, processing, and variant analysis. The workshop, attended by industry experts and students, demonstrated practical applications like mutation identification and disease association using the GATK pipeline and Kakoa's cloud distributed computing capabilities. Following this, Smilegate Hope Studio to host 2024 Play Fun and Good Forum at GSTAR. Smilegate Hope Studio will host the 2024 Play Fun and Good Forum on November 15th in Busan. The event will focus on sustainable social contributions through collaboration in the gaming industry. It will feature presentations by game industry leaders, showcase successful example of social impact initiatives such as the Youth Esports Festival and promote engagement between game companies and users to address social issues. Following this, NeoWiz to showcase Goodbye Seoul Itaewon at G-Star 2024, revealing new build. NeoWiz's Goodbye Seoul Itaewon will be showcased at G-Star 2024 in Busan from November 14th through the 17th, featuring a new build exclusively available at the event. The game, praised for its unique post-apocalyptic storyline and pixel art, will be part of KOCCA's booth and the Indie Showcase, with activities for fans and a developer talk highlighting its journey. Thanks for listening. See you next week.